Hey everyone, Bobby here, and wrapping up another course along my mastery journey, journey uh, with digital news production. And it was definitely like drinking from a fire hose with the amount of information that we had to digest and then put into practice with the four projects that we completed during this course. Uh, for me, my personal goals and expectations were to finalize my own personal production project process, taking it from idea to final product, then uh, developing a, a network of reliable media outlets that I could draw research from, and also starting to build that network of environmental professionals that will ultimately inform a lot of the environmental journalism that I do uh, going forward with my career. My favorite assignment, as it's easy for me, was week three when I covered a seed library that is being managed out of our local city library here in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. I got to meet the librarian that actually oversees and organizes the project, as well as meeting with a Kentucky uh, extension, service, extension agent who helped establish that through the Master Gardeners Association here in Christian County. Um, it was definitely a challenge because I'm having to go and coordinate two separate interviews, a lot of B-roll uh, shooting, and then taking all of that and whittling it down into a one and a half to two minute pro uh, final product. And I think that that was, the, that was the assignment that I felt like I really came into my own, especially uh, with it being indicative of the style of environmental journalism that I want to uh, produce going forward with my career. So there were a couple of things that I would have loved to have done differently, but the one that jumps out the most is I had a rocky start with assignment number one. Um, the natural sound project. I did go back and create a second project that I feel is significantly better and more indicative of the skill set that I do have and the, cap the, the style that I'm capable of producing as opposed to the final project that was uh, graded. And I think going forward it's just going to be a lot of attention to detail and really making sure that I am producing exactly what is required uh, rather than letting my creative impulses take the reins as I tend to have an issue with. Outside of writing, video is certainly the medium that I'm most comfortable with and the one that I feel most confident about. Um, this course un will undoubtedly be central to a lot of what I do going forward with my career as a new media journalist. I think the visual storytelling techniques that we've learned along the way have allowed me to combine that with a lot of the science background from my undergrad and some of the stuff that I some of the stuff that I do with the military and trying to create an influential and captivating piece on everyday stories as opposed to just showing issues and no solutions. I want Ecopunk Media to be grounded in solution-based, pragmatic environmental journalism. And I think that I really came into my own, especially with uh, projects uh, three and four. And going forward, this is undoubtedly going to be the, the course that influences what I do the most.